to see about uh, the Millet and Moray circuits. And I'm going to tell you what is mean by a Millet circuit and what is mean by a Moray circuit. And then uh, a, a simple example of a Millet circuit we are going to solve. So sequential circuit we know that uh, you have two classifications of sequential circuits namely synchronous sequential circuit and asynchronous sequential circuit. Generally sequential circuit is nothing but when your output of a circuit depends on the input and the previous output that is said to be sequential circuit. So sequential circuits can be classified into two types one is synchronous sequential circuit and asynchronous sequential circuit. Synchronous sequential circuit uh, will uh, have a clock uh, and uh, all the operation of the synchronous se uh, sequential circuit will be synchronized with respect to the clock hence the name synchronous sequential circuit and a synchronous sequential circuit you won't be having a clock and uh, it's a uh, clock is not common in a synchronous uh, sequential circuit in general I can tell like that. So synchronous sequential circuit uh, will change its state uh, okay, for every positive or negative edge of the clock pulse. Uh, as I said uh, already you have an input to the circuit, you have an input to the circuit and So, sequential circuit uh, will change, uh, synchronous sequential circuit will change their state for every positive and negative edge of the clock pulse. So, like for example, I can have a circuit, sequential circuit, you have an input for the circuit and uh, for you will be having a clock to the circuit and you will be having the previous state that can be given to the uh, input. The previous state is from the memory unit. So, that will be connected to the circuit. Yeah, and you will be having the output. You will be having the output. This is how uh, generally a uh, sequential circuit will be uh, represented. You have an input in the present state. And for every uh, clock pulse, every raising edge of the clock pulse or the clock pulse, uh, you have uh, your output. You have your output. So that is what uh, I mean to say here. Uh, synchronous sequential circuit change the state of uh, for every positive or negative edge of the clock pulse, these states will be represented by the state diagram. You will represent these states by the state diagram. And there are two types of synchronous sequential circuit. They are Millet circuit and Moray circuit. Okay. They are said to be Millet and Moray circuit. And uh, these circuits, synchronous sequential circuit, are also called as finite state machines. And I have discussed this finite state machines in my previous class. And we have solved an example of a two-bit counter. Okay, finite state machine means uh, 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 a circuit will be having definite number of states. That is said to be finite state machines. An example of that is a counter. Okay. So coming to the Mire, uh, Millet machine, coming to the Millet machine model. Uh, Millet machine, it's a finite state machine again. And uh, it's uh, a finite state machine is called a Millet state machine. If, uh, if, you, look at, you, if you look your uh, circuit here, uh, your output, if your output, here, okay, if your output depends on the input and the previous state of a previous state of the memory that will be fed as in the input. So, output depends on the input and the previous state, okay, previous state. This memory will be usually flip flops. This memory will be usually flip flops, and this will be your next state, okay, of the flip flop or the uh, circuit of the circuit. This will be the next state that will be fed here. So now this is your output and the next state, the state of the flip flop and uh, this is your Millet state machine. So finite state machine is called a Millet state machine if the output depends on both the present input and the present states. Okay, present input and the present state. Uh, so it is given in the figure there are two parts in the Millet machine. One is nothing but the combination logic circuit and number two is the memory which is nothing but your flip flop. Okay, so memory is useful to provide a sum or part of your previous uh, output. Okay, previous output is nothing but uh, the present state for the combination logic circuit. Okay, so now input you will be having, you will be giving uh, one more uh, input that is nothing but your present state. That the present state will be from the memory. Memory will be using, uh, will be using a flip flop. So, both, uh, so based on the input and the present state, uh, your melee machine produces the output.
okay and keep in mind the output will be valid okay you will be having an output when you will be having an output that will be valid only during your positive or the negative transition of the clock pulse if it is an edge triggered or lagrange triggered based on the circuit that you are going to design so the output will be valid only after the transition of your clock signal okay this is about your milli machine the generic model of your uh, milli machine uh, is given here the state diagram of your milli uh, generic model machine milli machine so like here you will be having the states okay the states are represented here okay and between states uh, these directed arrows represents your transitions from one state to another state okay namely from state 1 to state 2 okay and in the uh, above the transition you will be having an input and the output input and the output okay input and the output so this is how we will be representing in milli machine model in the transition diagram you remember you will represent both the input and the output okay both the input and the output right so murray machine is nothing but uh, this is also a finite state machine an example of a finite state machine and uh, if you look at it with the diagram of your murray milli murray model murray model your output okay output depends only on the present state of the flip flop okay of the memory element memory element is usually flip flop okay so the block diagram of the murray machine is shown here there are two parts in the murray machine again one is said to be combination logic and another said to be another is said to be your memory okay and the present input and the present state okay the present input and the present state this is your present input and this is your present state okay determine your next state determine your next state and the output okay determine your next state and the output in this case the present input and the present state determine the next state as i said so based on the next state murray machine model see here based on the next state your murray machine model produce the output okay produce the output so output are said to be unconditional as they are not directly dependent on the input signal in murray machine okay so these outputs will be valid again only Uh, after the uh, transition in the clock pulse after the transition in the clock pulse and uh, the generic uh, murray machine model is represented here with the help of state diagram and the difference between the mille and the murray machine is so between the state transitions between the state transitions you will represent only your input not your output there in your mille you will be representing your input slash output but here you will be representing only the input and the output will be in the state itself will be inside your state itself okay you will represent the state and the output together okay output and state together is it okay right so uh, today we will uh, see how to uh, design a milli machine and what are all the procedure to design a milli machine okay what are all the steps involved uh, uh, in designing a milli machine is the same uh, steps that we have discussed uh, while uh, designing a two bit counter okay so the first step is uh, the state diagram the state diagram the second step you you are going to represent a state table but generally in the state table you will be having only uh, in the counter and all you will be representing the present state next state and the inputs only only the flip flop inputs only but here along with the present state next state you will be representing your input output also okay input output also and the third step you are going to uh, go ahead with the k map and finally you are going to implement the circuit by the given flip flop and other elements so coming to your example of the milli machine model 
So design a melee machine for a serial two bit adder that can stir the target. Okay. To design a melee machine for a serial two bit adder that can stir the target. So that can stir the target. It is given here. Okay. You need to design the circuit. So stir the target in the sense you need uh, for a serial two bit adder. Two bit adder. Let me take. Uh, uh, Two bit adder means you have two bits A B. So what are all the input combinations? You will be having zero zero, zero one, one zero, one one. These are all the possible two bit combination input combination. So you will be having a sum. You will be having a carry, and uh, you need to store the carry bit. You need to store the carry bit. So for storing the carry bit, you need a flip flop. So if you go ahead with the flip flop, you need you will be having with the states, namely your present state and the next state to this. Okay. So we know that zero zero sum zero carry zero and sum one carry zero and sum one carry zero one one sum zero carries one. This is your two bit adder. The truth table you know, right? Hmm? So now, then first step, what we need to do, we need to do is, uh, you, we need to draw the state diagram. Okay, we need to draw the state diagram. State, keep in mind, state is only for the flip flop, your present state and the next state. Okay. Huh? So now, uh, let me have two states, which is nothing but uh, uh, your carry can take two value, either zero or one. Your carry can take two value, either zero or one. Okay, so state diagram coming to the state diagram of the serial adder, you have two. Uh, you have two states. One is your sum, and another one is your carry. Okay, another one is your carry. So now, uh, so let me represent the states. Yes, one. Let me take carry is zero. And S2, let me take carry to be 1. Okay. The state is your carries. Okay. So, 2 states. I am encircling it. So, now what are the input combinations? 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Okay. And for that case, um, this is your sum. This is your carry. Uh, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. And See, when your input for your melee machine, the transitions between your state will have, okay, will have input as well as the output, okay. So, now your input is A and B. Inputs are A, B. When your inputs is A, B, 0, 0. When your input is 0, 0. Your sum is 0 and carry is 0. When your input is 0, 0, your sum is 0. Sum represents the output. Sum is 0 and your carry is 0. You are getting this? Okay. And now for the next input, when your input is 0, 1, your sum is 1, but again your carry is 0. When your input is 0, 0, sorry, 0, 1, when your input is 0, 1, your sum is 0, that is your output. What about uh, sum is 1, I am sorry. When your input is 0, 1, sum is 1, but again your carry is 0. Keep in mind your carry represents your state. Okay. And again, when your input is one zero. And your sum is 1, 
that is your output your carry is again zero so for all the three combinations okay so for all the three combinations namely for 0 0 and uh, 0 1 1 0 you don't have a carry at all okay you don't have a carry at all your uh, state is zero only carry is zero only you remain in the same state you remain in the same state. Okay. And come here. When your input is 1, 1. Next one. When your input is 1, 1. What about your sum? That is your output. That is 0. But your carry turns to 1 here. So now from S1 to S2. When your input is 1, 1. Your output is 0. And you have a change in state from 0 to 1. This is your carry state. Okay. And now, so keep in mind, now your, uh, this you have derived, this you have derived by taking into account your previous carry. Okay. Your previous carry is 0. Is all 0. Right. Okay, so now again, let me write here for you. Again, you will be having A, B and your previous carry, now it will be 1. Again, for the four combinations, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. What is your sum on the carry? So, 1, 0, 0, sum is 1, carry is 0. 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. 1, 1, 1. 1 and 1. And again, this is for from when your machine is in state 2. Your carry is previous carry is 1. Your carry is 1. So now, what about your input combination? When it is 0 and 0, when it is 0 and 0, input is 0 and 0, output is 1, but your carry is 0. But your carry is 0. See here? When your input is 0, 0, your output is 1, your carry is 0. So, from S2, it will move to S1. Okay. And again, when your input combination is 0, 1, sum is 0 and carry is 1. Okay. It means it remains in the same state. So, input combination is 0, 1. Sum is 0, carry is 1. Okay. And for the next input combination, 1, 0. Okay. The output is 0 and your carry is 1. And again for the next input combination, 1, 1. Your output is 1. And your carry is also 1. It remains in the same state. Is it clear? This is how you will be doing your state diagram. Okay. This is how you will be doing your state diagram. And the next step is to go ahead with the state table. I repeat. C A and B is the input for the serial adder. Okay. Sum and carry will be your outputs and keep in mind in the serial adder we are going to store only the carry bit carry will have two value either 0 or 1 so carry will be stored in the flip flop so flip flop will be having two states your present state and the uh, next state present state along with the input you will be giving to the combinational logic circuit according to the linear machine so that you will be get, getting your output and the next state for the flip flop. Okay. So when I am going to have your inputs A, B. Okay. A, B only four input possible combinations 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Okay. There are two possible states. Carry can take either 0 or 1. So that is what I have represented in two states 0 and 1. Okay. If the input combination is 0, 0. 
and uh, keep in mind in your melee machine uh, during your transition you will be representing your input and the output output is the sum okay so 0 0 and when your in input is 0 0 the present state is also 0 and you will be having your sum 0 and carry 0 so it is retaining in the same state okay and uh, when your present state carry is 0 and your input combination is 0 1 and your sum is 1 and carry is 0. So, sum is your output. So, for 0, 1 input, your output is 1 and your state is 0 only. That is your carry state. So, for 0, 0 combination, 0, 1 combination and 1, 0 combinations of input, it will remain in the same state, meaning your carry is 0. Only for 1, 1 combination, your carry is 1. So, from S1, it will move to S2. Your input is 1, 1. Your output is 0. Likewise, you need to fill up for your state S2 also. So, now the state diagram is over. You have to go ahead with the state table. As I said earlier, usually state table, you will be having the present state, next state and the flip-flop as we have seen for the counter design. But the thing here is, you will be representing your input and output also in the state table in case of your melee machine. So now, uh, input to the melee machine, uh, inputs are nothing but uh, your uh, serial order inputs A and B and the present state, okay, and the present state. So for your reference, let me uh, simply draw, you will be having a, a circuit, that is your synchronous sequential circuit and uh, that too, an example of a melee circuit, you will be having input and you will be having a memory element that will be fed here as a present state. You will be having output and you will be having the next state. Okay, this is how your melee machine model will be, the generic model. So, input to the melee machine, now with serial adder, 2 bit adder, you will be having 2 bits A and B. Okay, you have 2 bits A and B. And the present state of the flip flop, that is nothing but your carry. Okay, because you are going to store the carry. Present state of the flip flop is carry bit. And the next state of the flip flop is again your carry bit. So, that I am representing it as Q and Q plus. I can even say that it has C and C plus your carry bit. And output from the melee machine is nothing but your output of the adder, that is sum, yes. And uh, we need the input of the flip-flop also, okay. Input, output, okay. Input, output, present state, next state and uh, the input of the flip-flop. The flip-flop inputs is also mentioned in the state table. All this combination makes a state table. So, now uh, coming here. So, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. See, possibly this is the input. Input is nothing but input plus present state. Of for the synchronous sequential circuit, now this is a melee machine. Okay. So, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. These are all the positive combinations of input and for this we know when 0 0 0 okay your sum is 0 carry is 0 0 0 1 sum is 1 carry is 0 sum is 1 carry is 0 and uh, sum is 0 carry is 1 and uh, sum is 1 carry is 0 Sum is 0, carry 1. Sum is 0, carry 1. Sum is also 1, carry is also 1. Keep in mind, the carry represents your next state here. And now, uh, we are going to uh, use flip-flop. Okay, flip-flop only for storing the carry bit. So, I am representing as DC. Why am I using D flip-flop is? D flip-flop is a only flip-flop. You will be having... Uh, the uh, uh, same, the output will be same as like your input and uh, 
but the delay but with the delay it will appear okay but the delay it will appear so i'm using d flip flop here for the serial adder okay uh, so here from the excitation table of d flip flop what is excitation table excitation table relates your output with respect to input of this uh, meaning the states with respect to input of the flip flop so now the state is zero whatever may be the output of the flip flop the same uh, output uh, that will be the input of the flip flops too so 0 0 0 1 0 0 1 refer your excitation table of your d flip flop your q plus and d will be same okay and this is your step 2 for uh, your miller machine design and next is your sum and the carry okay uh, how to derive the expressions for the sum and we have the table here and now we need the expression to implement uh, the model or the design so for that we will be going ahead with the k map okay so we have your sum okay your uh, output of the uh, machine i as i discussed here this is a serial ladder output is sum and uh, this is your carry this is your carry so we need uh, uh, two uh, k maps or two expressions one for your output that is sum and another for your next state that is for your carry next state is nothing but your carry q plus or c plus whatever okay so now we it's a three input combination so uh, three variable cam, came up we need to use so you will be having the inputs to be a and uh, b c c is nothing but i can write it as q okay q the c q plus the c plus okay I can write it as so A B C so zero 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 one one zero one one zero and one zero one zero 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 one one zero one one go here okay look here for your uh, sum first zero one one zero one zero zero one so only for uh, this formulation you fill up your table so by looking ahead with the state table your output s and your next state your q plus or your c plus and i have filled up here okay uh, the table earlier while i am writing it i have uh, written as 1011 now i change it So now this sum and the uh, d flip flop is nothing but d flip flop output is either I can write it as c plus which is also equal to q plus. I need these two expressions. So when I see this uh, sum, it's nothing but uh, the sum table of a full ladder only, and we know this expression of the full ladder sum. Sum is nothing but a x o b x o c. and come here for the d flip flop which is nothing but c plus which is equal to q plus also and now come here and if you look ahead with this again try the expression again okay it's again uh, your expression for your full ladder so bc ac and this is a b so a b b c b c okay this is for your d flip flop next thing we know the expression we are going to implement this by the circuit and uh, we know that your sum is or implementation here okay implementation so we know the expression your expression is for your sum is nothing but ax or bx or c and uh, and for your q 
sari or your next state which is nothing but the state of the flip flop it is ab plus bc plus ac so now we need a d flip flop okay i have a clock because this is going to be single sequential circuit and i have i can write it as c c bar okay c c bar this is your dc flip flop dc my input is d and here i'll be having a full ladder circuit i'll be having some here that is my output i'll be having carry here and my inputs are a b and C. Now this is going to be your previous state. This is going to be your previous state. Okay. That should be connected. To this. that should be connected to this and your carry you should connect it to the end point of the this is your really circuit model i will repeat once so when i am expressing the same circuit in the with the help of uh, the generic uh, miller machine model so you have a combination logic circuit now the combination logic circuit for us is a full ladder that is a serial uh, uh, bit ladder it's a uh, serial to be data it's it's a certain but a full ladder circuit and you have a sum output and the carry output and the carry output will be stored in your memory of the flip flop and we are using d flip flop so the output from the combination logic circuit and the carry will be fed to your memory unit and that will be logic circuit is a sum and the carry which is nothing but you need to store the carry that will be fed to the d flip flop and the output of the d flip flop will be given as a present state to the same combination logic circuit being the inputs to be a and b of the atom okay this is how we will be representing a general millet machine circuit and with this i'll stop today and uh, we'll discuss further about more machine in the next class